Special thanks to Patreon supporter Martino14 for making this tutorial possible. Hello ladies and gentlemen, scared for here bringing you another Minecraft over to vehicle tutorial. In this tutorial we'll be going ahead and building the Lecha Panzer Spa Wagon, SDKFZ222. The Lecha Panzer Spa Wagon, which translates from German to light armored reconnaissance vehicle, was a series of light four-wheel drive armored vehicles produced by Nazi Germany from 1935 to 1944. The SDKFZ-222 is the second in a series of light reconnaissance vehicles designed to meet operational requirements including reliability, an ability to run on a variety of grades of fuel, simple construction, and good off-road performance. The first in the series was the SDKFZ-221. This type proved too small and too lightly armored, so in 1936 through 1937 a heavier version was planned using one of two standard chassis of four-wheeled armored cars. One of these used a front-mounted engine, the other a rear-mounted. The latter was used in the SDKFZ-222, which became the standard light armored car in Germany Army service until the defeat of Nazi Germany. So yeah, the SDKFZ-222, a very iconic uh, vehicle used by Nazi Germany during the war. Um, as I mentioned, it was one of the vehicles that did see service throughout the entire war, which um, is kind of, a, kind of a feat in itself right there. Um, a lot of these were produced, about 2,394, and uh, the main armaments included a 2 centimeter or, two, or a 20 millimeter KWK 30 slash L or L slash 55 auto cannon, um, which was on this variant in particular. There were other variants that used different uh, guns, but this variant in particular had the 20 millimeter gun, and then it also was equipped with an MG 34 um, as a secondary armament uh, as well. So yeah, really interesting vehicle and uh, really. Uh, kind of iconic one and it's pretty much the main armored car used by Germany during that time period and uh, we did do a tutorial for this in the past so this is a redesign for that old design um, and definitely will need one as the other one was definitely starting to show its age uh, before we would start with the tutorial though or take a look at the vehicle I want to go and give special links to patreon supporter Martino 14 for making this tutorial possible if you guys are interested in supporting the channel and you guys uh, or more than you guys already do feel free to check out my patreon page link is in the video description where you go and pledge a small amount to the channel every month and in doing so earn a vehicle request you're choosing it really helps support the work I do on my channel and you earn a vehicle request that you want every month so you know win-win for both of us um, but yeah, really uh, appreciate my patrons, and Martino is a new one, so thank you, Martino, and welcome to the uh, welcome to the patrons. Uh, but yeah, really nice vehicle, and uh, I think it came out really good, and I think you guys will enjoy it as well. But uh, going ahead and getting started with, we have the front here. Uh, obviously, it's a four by a uh, four by vehicle. I believe it's just a uh, two by four, so it's uh, only two wheel drive. Uh, we have the compartment here for the driver and the co-driver, and then the gunner position, which is located right up here. Uh, we've got a radio antenna here, uh, spare tire mount on the side here, just a shaping here for the hole itself. Here side here we have a cargo box for probably cr the, some of the crew's gear and ammunition or something of that sort, and then a uh, fuel canister on the back of the, mount on the back bumper and all that stuff. So, really nice looking vehicle, thing came out really good and gonna, gonna make it an awesome addition to basically any uh, kind of front that you want to have this in. This uh, vehicle basically saw service everywhere during World War II, so and where the Germans were, this thing was around, so you have a lot of uh, playability with this and putting it into a lot of different scenarios. Anyways, let's go ahead and move into the tutorial by beginning with our first layer, layer number one. Alright guys, so moving into our first layer here, we're going to go ahead and begin with layer one. For layer one to uh, get started with here, we're going to place down two polished blackstone stairs back to back to each other, which is going to go ahead and create our right front wheel. From this, we want to go ahead and then place down a stone brick top slam, followed by an iron trap door, and an air stone brick top slam. We're going to place down an air polished black stone upside down stair and a stair coming off the back of it like that to go and make our axle and our wheels. Once we have this done here, we're going to place down an iron trap door coming off these two wheels to both sides and a dark liquid sign coming off those uh, iron trap doors. Once we get to this point here, we're going to go ahead and basically count back uh, a couple of spaces to go ahead and build our real axle. So for this, we're going to go back from the signs, one and two blocks, one and two on both sides here. And we're going to go ahead and place down two polished black stone stairs upside down, back to back like that. After that's done, we want to go ahead and then take our stone brick top slab. We're going to place down a top slab here between those stairs, iron trap door, and a narrow top slab like that. And then coming off these polished black stone stairs here, we're going to place down a iron trap door to both sides and a dark liquid sign on the sides of those iron trap doors. With that all complete there, that's going to wrap up what we have there for layer number one. Here's the aerial overview of what we should have for this layer. Pretty straightforward stuff. 
And uh, with that, we're going to move into our next layer, layer number two. All right, guys, moving into our next layer, we have layer number two. For layer two, to go ahead and get started with here, we're going to place a polished black stone stair on top of these two stairs here. And we're just going to basically place these stairs back to back uh, on each one of these wheels to go ahead and create our four wheels on the ground there, like so. Once we have this done, we want to go ahead and grab ourselves a stone brick wall. And we're also going to need an anvil. We're going to place down an anvil on top of the iron trap doors and a stone brick wall to both sides. Same thing here, like that to both sides as well. Once we get to this point, however, we're going to go ahead and then place down a uh, row of three of stone full blocks that go across like so. And a row of three of stone top slabs across the bottom there. We're going to go ahead and then place down a row of three of stone upside down stairs across the front here. And then to the sides of the stone upside down stairs, we're going to place down a skeleton skull. And we're also going to place down skeleton skulls coming off those two stone um, stairs like that. In between those stairs, we're going to place down a dark oak fence gate and then an rod to both sides of those skeleton skulls like that out to the sides. One thing from the previous layer, um, which we had to forget, which was that row of three of stone top slabs on the bottom there, but we also want to place down an item frame on the two slabs to the sides. Place a, or a, uh, a uh, trip bar hook in the item frame and we want to rotate so it's facing downward like that. After that's all done, we want to go and then take our stone blocks. We're going to place down a row of one, two, three, and four stone blocks down the center here. And we're gonna then go to the sides and we're gonna place down a row of four of stone upside down stairs along the sides. Over here on uh, both sides on top of this iron trap door, we're gonna place down a stone stair like that to both sides. We then wanna go ahead and go to the right side, or sorry, the left side of the vehicle. We're gonna place down two gray shulker boxes with two stone buttons on the sides of those shulker boxes. And on the other side over here, we're gonna place down a upside down polished black stone stair and a second stair coming off like that for the spare tire which will be mounted on the side there. We then want to take our stone blocks we're going to place down a row of three between these stairs here and once we get to this point we're going to place down a stone block in the center upside down stone stair to both sides and then a row of three of stone upside down stairs across the back here. Coming off those corner stairs we're going to place down an item frame to both sides a trip bar hook in the item frame rotated downwards like that and we're also going to place down a stone stair on top of those iron trap doors an item frame on the front of the stairs a red stained glass block in those item frames, followed by a dark oak sign, like that on the fronts of the stairs, like so. And once we have that all done there, that's going to do our brake lights there, and that right there is going to wrap up what we have for layer number two. And here's a bit of an overview of what it looks like from up above. And with that, we'll go ahead and move into our next layer, layer number three. All right, guys, moving into our next layer, we have layer number three. For layer three, to go ahead and get started with here, we're going to place down a row of three of daylight detectors across the front here. We're going to turn those to the night mode. We then want to place down a stone stair back, stone corner stair to both sides of that stair like so, and then a stone brick stair on top of this polished black stone stair like that, facing with the back facing toward the front. We're also going to place down an item frame here on the backs of those two stairs, and a snowball in those item frames like so. We then want to place down a stone block here on top of that anvil, followed by a another stone block out to the sides here, like so. And we're also going to place down a stone slab on both ends as well. Once we have that done, we're going to place down another row of three of stone full blocks across. This time followed by a light gray stained glass pane to both sides. A anisite wall going back from those glass panes. And another row of three of stone full blocks going across. We're going to place down another row of three of stone full blocks across. Followed by a second row. And to the left side here, we're going to place down two gray shulker boxes on their sides with two trip bar hooks coming off of them. Over on the other side we're going to place down two polished black stone stairs back to back like that on the right side. We then want to place down a stone stair on both sides like so and we're going to then place down a row of three of stone blocks between them. If you do have access to a debug stick um, I do recommend using that to actually make this tire here look a little bit better. So you can see here the command I'm typing in uh, will give us access to a debug stick. And we can go ahead and select this log here and we can change the shape. And we'll go ahead and change it so it's just straight and it's not making a corner stair with that stair. It looks a little bit better there on the side of the vehicle. Once we have that done, over here on the left side, we're going to place down a green shulker box. And around that shulker box we can go ahead and place down dark oak signs. We then want to take our stone blocks and place down three over. 
And we can place down a stone slab on this side. I'm going to place down an airstone block here in the middle. A gray shulker box, two bow fins, and then a stone stair here in the middle with a stone corner stair coming off both sides of that stair. And once we have that all done there, that is going to basically wrap it up for uh, layer number three here. Here's what it looks like from up above. And with that, that's going to complete the layer. And let's go ahead and move on to our next one, layer number four. All right, guys, moving into our next layer, we have layer number four. For layer four, to go ahead and get started with here, we're going to place down an iron trap door on top of this stone block here. We then want to place down a stone block here in the center, and we're going to then place down a stone brick block to both sides. We then want to take our item frames around these stone brick blocks. We're going to place down item frames, black beds in those item frames, and we're going to go ahead and rotate them around like this so the pillows are facing toward, uh, basically toward each other like that in the corners. If you are on Java Edition, you do have the ability to take dark liquid signs and we can place them down in the same block space as the item frame. If you are on console versions, you do not have this ability, so if that's the case, then just disregard the signs and just place down the item frames instead. Once we get to this point, we're going to, go to place down a row of three of stone blocks across, followed by a skeleton skull to both ends, and we're going to then place down another row of three of stone blocks across here, this time with a uh, light gray stained glass pane on the side here, followed by one more back on the sides, and then an air stone block here on the inside. We're also going to go ahead and delete this stone block right here, so we're going to leave a little bit of space here so we can kind of try to fill a little bit of an interior to give it a little bit more, um, you know, of a view, especially since it is a open top. After we get to this point, we're going to place down a row three of stone blocks across, followed by a skeleton skull again on both ends. We want to go and then take our stone stairs and we want to place down a row of three of stone stairs going across here. We're going to place down a stone brick slab there in the center and in the corners here we're going to place down a skeleton skull here at a 45 degree angle like so. And once we have that all done there, that is going to wrap up what we have here for the slayer. Actually one last thing on the left side here, we're going to place down a zombie head on top of this green shulker box. Uh, but other than that, that's going to pretty much do it for this layer. And, um, one last thing also, we're going to place down an end rod on top of these two stone brick stairs. At this point, I promise that was the last thing. Um, if you do want to do the interior as well, um, basically all we're doing here is a dark oak fence gate opened up toward the front there and a um, acacia wood trap door for the moment. So that's all that we have right there in the inside since the interior space is so small we don't really have much more room to work with as is. So that's all we got for that so far. Anyways, so that right there is going to do it for layer 4, and with that, let's move into our last final layers, layers 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9. Alright guys, going ahead and moving into our final layers here, we have layers 6, or... Alright guys, moving into our final layers, we have layers 5 through 9. For these layers to go ahead and get started with, we're going to, go to start off by going ahead and grabbing ourselves a uh, stone stair. And we're going to place down a stone stair here in the middle. Actually, sorry, my bad, it's actually going to be a polished black stone top slab. To both sides of that, we're going to place down a stone stair. And then going back from that stone stair, we're going to place down an additional stair back. So you have a corner stair to both sides and a regular stair like that. We then want to place down an air stone stair to both sides. Stone stair here in the middle. And then a skeleton skull to both sides of that stair. Now at this point right here, we're going to go to the sides of this stair right here. Place down an item frame. A black bed in the item frame. Rotate around so the pillow is facing forward. And a dark oak with sign like so. Same thing over here. Just like this. And again, the dark oak with sign if you're able to. We then want to go ahead and go to the slab, we're going to place down two end rods going forward, a wither skeleton skull on the tip, and then an end rod coming off of this stone stair over here to the left side. Uh, for the top here, or actually for the inside here for the turret, we're going to place down a polished black stone upside down stair. And then for the seat here for the gunner, we're going to place down a acacia wood trap door on top of that one and have it opened up toward the back there. Once we have that done, we're going to place down a end rod on top of the stair here. And we then want to go ahead and place down a row of three iron bars going up from the end rod. After that, we're going to go ahead and then place down a polished, or sorry, cobblestone slab on top of this one right here, or on top of this slab, followed by a second one behind it. And then the corners here, we're going to go ahead and just place down uh, some skeleton skulls here at slight angles like that to kind of give it a little bit more of a round type shape up there. And once we have that all complete, that is going to wrap up my design here for the SD KFC. 222. 
Hopefully you guys do enjoy this build and are able to put to good use. If you do want to use this build, I do ask you guys give me proper credit for it. This can be linked from a side of the build, tweet to my channel, or this video if this does bring any social media sites. As long as you guys give me proper credit for the build, you're free to use it for a project you guys are working on. Overall, enjoy the build, have fun with it, and all that fun stuff. Again, a big special thanks to Patreon supporter Martino14 for making this tutorial possible, and feel free to check my Patreon page. The link is always in my video descriptions. And with that, thank you guys again so much for watching. As always, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. This has been Gary 2 and I'll see you guys next time.